Hello friend, welcome back. In a previous video, we successfully complete that uh, logging with user portions. Right now, you are able to successfully logging with the user, right? Now friend, in this video, I want to do when you successfully login, like here, if you put your username and password for the user, I make it as a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And after that, if you click as a login, and you can see right now you are successfully logged in so that is one of the default uh, dashboard page right so now i want to do i want to change our dashboard page and also that will be our fondant if you go so that will be our fondant so into the fondant area here i also want to do and load another theme okay so that i want to do i want to load two of this theme one will be for our fondant another will be for our backend so for the font in, I want to use, if you go to one of the exercise file, like here after end of this course, I will share this exercise file with you. And into this exercise file area, there is one of the folder as a project theme. Simply open that project theme. And you can see there is one of the font in theme, there is one of the back in theme. So for the font in theme, I want to use uh, this one. Like here, there is very simple one of the theme, like that will be our font in. I simply open it. Now you can see that is a Rasalia, that is all that is static. So right now, step by step, I want to do, I want to make it as a dynamic, okay? So every part, I want to make it as a dynamic. So that will be actually our project. Perfect. So they have some of the blog portions. They have some of the client feedback. Okay, so there is also some of the portfolio. Here also, we have to update that part. So I want to make every part as a dynamic like right now there is our about about page if you redirect it to the about that is about.html and you can see there is about page so friend for the font in i want to use um that theme and also for the back end here i want to do i want to use another theme if you go to your exercise folder and there is another theme as a back end theme so that is also um, we develop bootstrap 5 so now that is also another static site so now i want to open it okay that is our that will be actually our back end so for our back end that means that part i want to change it here i want to load um, that theme that will be our back end theme and that will be our found in theme okay friends so both of this i will share in your exercise folder after end of this course you will get this type of one of the folder simply download this folder and here you will get that back end theme and then found in theme first of all i want to do i want to update our backend okay so right now i will work for funding later that is our one of the backend theme that is the backend theme now i want to do i want to load it in our backend area so how can do this work step by step in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video